Welcome back to daytime. Well, everybody loves bingo, and when you add black tie to it, you have a fantastic event that is being held this Saturday for all for good cause. And who better to tell us is Sharon Carstairs and Lisa Davey of the Outcare Foundation of Ottawa. Welcome back, and thank, thank you. you for coming in. Okay, black tie and bingo. Who came up with that idea? Well, actually, its uh, origination in Canada was with the University of Guelph and their hospital there and they've been holding it now for 20 years wow. uh, so we you know heard of this very good idea together with the elder care foundation and they uh, agreed that we should join forces together yes and to uh, hold this event and this year we've sold out our tickets and Congratulations. Uh, everybody's excited about saturday which means we're going to have uh, $26,000 worth of prizes and 20,000 in silent auction donations and seven games of bingo and if you're really lucky you'll get a Caribbean holiday. Oh my gosh well I mean this is a kind of a serious bingo game like you there is a I don't know if we can get a look at this there are a couple of games that are here I don't know if our producer can yeah you could see those designs there so when you get to the bingo I always want to say hall where is this being held? We're, it's, it's being held at the Ottawa Conference and Event Center. Okay, so, so it's definitely still a, a hall. It's a hall, but it's yeah. a gala hall this it time. It is a gala <laughs> hall. Um, and you come in and you can buy as many bingo cards as you want? Yes, as okay. many bingo cards. for We have seven games. Yeah. So uh, each guest can buy up as many as they can fit on their table and as many as they're comfortable playing at the same and, time. And get maybe one get of one. those designs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the designs, the easier ones, are four corners four corners which is and our first game and that first prize is is a 750 dollars shopping spree for saint laurent and that's not bad yeah <laughs> yeah and then the hardest one which is every one but one the hardest been? one is full card full all card. of them so okay. and that's for our grand prize which is a thirteen thousand dollar trip to uh, barbados oh my gosh a year wow. prizing is fantastic <laughs> and this is only its fourth year so everybody at home you have to make sure next year you sign up earlier so it's not sold out that's fantastic and you have katherine clark she's your mc yes, yes she is a ton year. of fun yes. oh she is and she uh, she has been doing it for us every year a, a great uh, a great uh, cost to herself uh, in terms of time, but mm. she's devoted to our two causes, one of which is palliative care and the yeah. other is uh, not-for-profit long-term care facilities. And all the profits will go to support people who are at uh, end of their life, either through the hospice uh, care system or through the long-term care. Yeah, and we talked about that a little bit briefly before we came on, and we always hear about the elder care, and, and we too are getting older, but I, I found that the statistics were a bit staggering of how much there is not available mm -hmm. and, and room. So can you tell mm -hmm. us a bit of that it's for our viewers? Sure, well, for, for palliative care in our country, um, in fact, 70% of the people who need the care can't get it when they need wow. it. So that's, that's staggering mm -hmm. numbers. So um, it's... That's really what we're about at the Outcare Foundation is trying to address that and, sh and just shrink that gap a little bit by raising money that helps them deliver their programs. Yeah. The same with the long-term care homes in our communities. They're terribly, terribly underfunded and the wait lists are huge to get into them as well. So I know, they're saying up to three years yeah. you want to have your name on a list yeah. and make sure that you have somewhere to go. So you, with all of the funds raised from this, this will go to both of those um, organizations. Yeah, we share it equally. Yeah. Um, and palliative care, of course, deals with anyone who's who's at the very end of their lives, mm -hmm. including children. So some of our money goes to to projects which are required at Rogers House, which mm -hmm. is the children's hospice. Mm -hmm. But we provide money to the community when they identify that they have a need that they're not able to raise the money for themselves. Then we try to help uh, by providing that money to them. And you're doing a great job. Now you do have one other fundraiser that's going on at the same time. So when you have sold out, we can also take part in the comfort challenge. Yes. So can you tell us a bit about that? Sure. So we're going to be raising, as part of the event, before leading up to and during the event, we're raising money to buy specialized comfort 
cushions. Okay. So these are used for both long-term care homes and uh, folks in palliative care, and they provide relief and additional comfort at a time when you're maybe not as mobile as you used to be. So really important, mm -hmm. and it's only $550 to fund a cushion. Okay. So people can donate towards the cost of a cushion, they can fund a cushion outright, 100% of the money donated to the cushions will go to buy various questions throughout okay, the Okay, and do you want to throw out a number that you'd like to have uh, bought by the end of mm -hmm. this season? We, well, by the at the event, we'd like yeah. to have eight bought. At okay. The, yes. I think so that's that would be wonderful. Sure. So people can actually go, if they're interested, they mm -hmm. can go to blacktypingoottawa.com, mm -hmm. and there's information and a link to make a donation on our site. And what a, it's the perfect timing. It's a time of giving and thinking mm -hmm. of others, not just ourselves, but it actually is ourselves, too, because we too are going to get older and we do have friends and family that benefit from this. I really, really appreciate what you're doing in our community. This is fantastic. And I love that you've combined the two together. And how have you been liking that relationship? It just makes sense. It, and it's, it's, it's uh, a big thing to run, a black mm -hmm. tie bingo. And uh, the two partners, each carrying some of the burden, mm -hmm. makes it that much easier. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, need to have a lot of volunteers to make this happen, mm -hmm. and we've had tremendous support from the community, including the bingo mm -hmm. uh, hall yeah. itself, which in fact uh, provides all of the uh, call uh, numbers and, and distributes the cards for us, so they've been extremely helpful. Well, I'm super excited that it's sold out. It's going to be a pretty vibrant night when it is sold out. Mm -hmm. It'll be fun. I hope you get to yell bingo. <laughs> I know you haven't been able to. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, don't go away. We'll be right back with a lot more daytime.